And breaking tonight at 10, a Marion County Sheriff's deputy shoots and injures a wanted man. It happened in Broad Ripple near the White River. News 8's Dan Klein is live with more on what happened. Dan? Yeah, and Nina, there are still a number of uh, police officers as well as sheriff deputies here right on the scene on, of Westfield Boulevard, about a block north of Broad Ripple Avenue. I'm going to step out of the way so you can take a look at uh, what's uh, happening here. You can see some video from earlier uh, this afternoon. Police serving a uh, uh, warrant on a 30-year-old man from Tennessee. That warrant is for aggravated assault with a weapon, and uh, sheriff's office uh, deputies found him here. The police department, though, handling some of the information saying they're not saying much in terms of circumstances beyond that. They say shots were fired by one deputy around 530, almost five hours ago. The man is in serious condition but stable. Now, the sheriff's office often serves a warrants. Uh, we're told that six deputies were dispatched to this area. The unclear, though, how many people were right in the immediate vicinity when these shots were fired. I did talk to one eyewitness, a man who lives in an apartment several stories above this parking lot where the shooting happened. And he said he was first alerted to the developing situation by his dog, which was barking because of some people shouting outside. He went outside and he actually saw shots fired. He estimated anywhere from four to five. Just before, he says deputies had appeared to box in that white Jeep with Tennessee plates you're seeing on your screen as well. He still can't believe what he saw. Take a listen. It is the craziest thing that's ever happened. So it was just, especially on a Saturday afternoon, I was like... And I was like, I was watching something with guns or whatever. So I thought the screaming was coming from my TV. But then when my dog was barking, it's when I literally went out to my window and saw what was going on, then stepped out to the balcony and like, it was, yeah, that was crazy. Okay. Like, it, genuinely and honestly, it's something I will, it has an indirect effect to me, on me, but like, I will remember it for the rest of my life. The deputy who fired those shots is on administrative leave, which is standard for this type of incident. Now, police tell me that no gun has been found yet, uh, but they have not been inside the Jeep yet as well. Of course, roads close still in this area for quite some time, so just certainly a traffic alert to be aware of for the next few hours here in Broad Ripple. Reporting live, Dan Klein, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.